death to us but to death to us but Amen Angela Katie repeat this after me I Angela Katie take you Kenny Nelson with my girl to be my lawful husband I Angela Katie take you Kenny Nelson with my girl to be my lawful husband to love and to obey to love and to obey to what? To love and to obey. Obey who? To love. Obey who? <laughs> People don't confuse. <laughs> really, Gozi? What's that all about? Babe, come on, it's just a bloody wedding and the couple just took their vows. You know this part of a reality show called 90 Day Fiance, right? Not sure, just seen it. I thought it was one of these mad skits floating around social media. Doesn't matter. The problem here is the vow to love and obey. Is that a part, is that a hard part of this small episode, to love and obey? How is that a problem? <sighs> The problem here, my darling husband, is the vow. The woman knows who she loves, but she doesn't know who to obey. And that is why she asks to obey who? There is nothing wrong in obeying whomsoever you love. In fact, it makes bog sense to do so. There you go. That's patriarchy talking. <sighs> There is nothing wrong in having a set of rules for a woman and another for a boy. Notice the slight difference when the man was taking his own vow and when the woman was taking her own vow. Boy. Babe. Yeah, boy. You see, an older woman needs a boy to marry so she could feel loved, committed and fulfilled. Babe, can we go to sleep? Yeah. Pull the cord, open the chute, and let's drop down to sleep. Escapism. That's another thing men do better than women. That's because we want to escape domestic violence. Good night. Mm. Oh. It's morning. I want to show you something. See? It's a few minutes. Good morning. Good morning, my baby. <laughs> you know, one would have thought with all this protests and hashtags that. Shivery will be dead. Shivery does not start when a man opens the door for a woman or end when he closes it. There is a lot more. Just so you know, the nights are long dead. Ha! <sighs> the day I decode what you guys want. Hey, hey. That day I will run for the presidency of this country. Oh yeah. Eh? It's high time a wise one governed this country. Hmm. Sure you don't have my vote. Of course I do. You're my wife. Ugh. 
That's patriarchy talking. Oh, again. Just because you're my husband <sighs> doesn't mean you have my vote to rule over me. Remember the question that woman asked? Obey who? I want to obey a terrible husband because I love him. I mean, I have the right to obey what I want to obey. Marriage is not a military institution. <sighs> it is a relationship. Okay. Ah, can we just go and face breakfast? Okay. Oh! Lest I forget. So, my boneheaded dad finally came to his senses. He's no longer moving in with us? He's not moving out of his house to start with. And the divorce? Not happening. Ha! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> right. So, my mom and I finally got through to him. You see, what he didn't realize is that he actually owns the company that owns the house he and my mom lived in. Not just as the chairman of the company, but my mom's next of kin. And a sole beneficiary to her estate with the event that she passes on before him. Wow! I'm glad you like the sound of that. Sure. You see, you men never learn. Hmm. We can actually take care of you. We are wired like that. Mm. Yes. Okay. Take care of me now. <laughs> take care of me now. Okay. Let me start with going to make breakfast. All right. I like breakfast. the sound of that. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. I'll be joining you. Another smart move. I like. What are you doing? Taking care of you. Really? Mm-hmm. Breakfast in bed. To love and to protect with a dash of shivery. Hmm. But... This is a heavy breakfast. That's the idea. Knock you out of this breakfast and spend the rest of the day with you in bed. So, <laughs> sounds like a good plan. That's my babe. <laughs> <laughs> 